Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Ash. And today we are back with a brand new game uh, called Mathematical Unicorns. Now to play this game, uh, this game is based on uh, one of our favourite card games, Unstable Unicorns. So this is like a mathematical version of that game. So to play, you just need a regular deck of cards. Aces are ones. So one to 10 are the number cards. The picture cards have special powers. Now we'll explain them as we go. The aim of the game is the same in our version as it is in Unstable Unicorns, and the aim is to get seven unicorns in your stable. First player to seven unicorns in their stable wins. Now, on each turn, you follow the same pattern. So the first thing you do is you pick up a card. You happy for me to go first, yes. Nash? Okay, so I pick up a card first. Then I have a look at my cards, and I see if I've got a card that I can put in my stable. Now, to put a card in your stable, you have to give a mathematical reason as to why it's going in. So I'm going to say eight is going in because it's even. I can put two in because it's even. So Nash has the ability to put one in as well, like to match mine. That's even. And on each turn, the person whose turn it was needs to record what was the reason that they used. So I've already used up even as a reason. I can't use even again. All right, Nash, your turn to pick up. Four because it's a triangular number. No, no, because it's a square number. Okay, I'm going to play nine because it's a square number. And Nashi, you're going to write down square number there. Okay, so my turn. So I pick up again as the start of my turn. Okay, I am going to play six. Now, I can't play six as an even number. I'm going to play six because it's a multiple of three. All right, excellent. Your turn, Nash. Three because it's a triangular number. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me see if I've got a tri bloody hell. <laughs> oh, 10 because it's a triangular number. Right, you can just draw a triangle, but for triangle number, that'll work for me. Okay, my turn. So I pick up. Now I'm going to show you. Now we've actually written down the three picture cards, what their powers are to remind us, because we've only played this game a few times. So I'm going to play one of the picture cards. So Queen goes in the middle. Queen gives you the power to steal. I'm going to hold that up again. So, Nashi, I'm going to steal one of your cards, and I take that now. So, now I have five unicorns, and you only have three. Now, the only way Nash could stop that would be if he had a king. Now, do you have a king, Nash? No. Okay, so king gives you the power to nay what just happened, which means bl basically block what just happened. All right, Nashi, your turn. I'm up to five. Yeah, I'm up to this. All right, now tell them what Jack does, Nash. Um, you can... Poison a card. So you get to get one of my unicorns and poison it. She's a good one. And put it over there. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Okay. So now it's back to four to three. All right, my turn. So I pick up. And I am going to play two because it's a prime number. Prime. Do you know what that means? No, I forgot. So prime is, it's, it's only factors a one and itself. Seven. I was going to play seven last time because it was a prime, but I can't remember what the word what the was. Word was. That's okay. All right, your turn, Bob. I do because it's even. Okay, well, I'll play eight because it's even as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's have a go. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to play six because it's a factor of 24. So it's one of the numbers that multiplies to give you, get you to 24. Oh, I'm going to that. Ah, because I would have won there, wouldn't I? 
Okay, now that still means I've used up that reason, haven't I? So factor of 24. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You've got to be careful, Nash. If you play something and give me a reason here, I'll win. I know. So you've got to think of something that, like you don't, like a, a rare reason. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I could just do that. I just poison my Yeah, yeah, good, good move. <laughs> All right, my turn. Uh, I'm going to play. <laughs> okay, she will feel you. All right. Um, what, what's my reason going to be? I'll just do. I'll play nine because it's odd. Because I haven't used odd yet. <laughs> odd. Odd. Okay, so we. It's six all, Nash. All right, my turn. Yes. Seven because it's a multiple of seven. <laughs> 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 the only one you can do is have seven. Well, that's a really good thing, but guess what? what? I'm going to name. I'm going to name. I'm going to name. I know, you can do a double name, yeah. so that means Nashi wins. Yeah. All right. And you can see, like, that even though we've only played this, how many times have you played it? Three times? Once? Yeah, this is our second time. This is our second time. Nash has already worked out some strategy, like he saves seven till the end and uses it as a multiple seven. So a lot, really good way to explore different properties of numbers, introduce some vocab, revise some vocab. Um, you could see Nash asking, what does prime mean? And, re and reminding what it means. So that's, uh, what's it called? Mathematical unicorns, deck of cards, paper and pen. And just remember the key things. King means nay, queen means steal, and Jack means poison. I hope you've enjoyed. You can say goodbye. Bye. See ya.